Okay, so I'm, I'm a bit late to the party with these updates. So these came out two days ago. Um, so I missed uh, 1.0.2 as a as a proper patch notes update, but um, 1.0.3 is here, and it's primarily about uh, the server transfer details. So there are some posts on Reddit already where people are having issues with their server transfers. Um, things are just not working properly. They're having issues with their characters. So I'm not sure to the extent of that, but just be careful, I guess, before you do actually um, transfer your character. We have had a few people pop on server this morning saying that they've just transferred to our server. So uh, I don't really know what the deal is, to be honest. But uh, let's wait a couple of days, I think, before you do transfer just to see if there's any more information. Um, okay, so new world update that are there. We'll release and we've already got that. Uh, everyone's got the patch now. So greetings adventurers. With this update, we, we have laid the final groundwork for the server transfer feature. It is currently in the store. You can go and grab it um, and grab your token with a swath, swath. I don't even know what that word means um, of bug fixes. Thanks to all those who helped uh, us track these down through their reports on the official new forums. Uh, before we dive into the details of exactly how the server transfer system works, our plan to roll it out to Here regions, there be pirates. Uh, our list of bug fixes. We wanted to thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Thank you for dealing with all the bugs and stuff. Um, uh, to show our appreciation, we're we'll grant all players the the Stoic in-game title. This title is meant to thank um, all of those who, uh, as the title description stakes, showed solid resolve in the face of epic wait times. <laughs> That's cool, man. I don't. I don't even know what this is person who can in so stoic st how do i say stoic it? stoic stoic sorry stoic 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 <laughs> stoic stoic a person who can endure pain or hardship without showing their feelings or complaining well there was a little bit of complaining <laughs> there was a bit a member uh, okay 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 um i guess we all don't deserve this title but we've got it <laughs> <laughs> stoic not stoic stoic <laughs> oh my god i'm an idiot showed solid resolve in the face of it i like man i like that they've done something fun like this the title will be automatically granted to your character and can be equipped by navigating to the character menu thank you that's kind of cool we've also added the waiting emote <laughs> yeah thank you for that uh, if you haven't seen it yet here it is little foot tap uh, hand on the waist okay moving on to the important shit i guess uh character server transfers um while we want everyone to find their long-term home in eternum uh we also want to ensure the process is safe and ready for everyone to use let's just skip through kind of the boring bits and let's get to the juicy details it's just a bit of thank yous uh, please review the video and faq below so you understand how the uh server process will work Okay, simple stuff. Press escape, go to store, go to world transfer, collect your, your world transfer. So you then... I'm assuming this will be where all the worlds are. All the different transfer options where we can go to. Is that it? Is that all? Oh. Okay, thanks for that pretty standard stuff press escape go to store collect your token choose the world transfer that you want um if any of you guys have claimed it already i haven't claimed them on yet if you then go back into the store is there an option to say how much it would cost if you want to transfer again so let's say someone makes a mistake they transfer to a wrong server um do any of you guys in chat know how much it's going to cost to transfer again you can have a look in game for me if you've done it already that'd be awesome um okay how do, how do i transfer my character you need to log into your character uh yeah but we're brought you will need to claim your token of course you will need to leave your company you need to remove any active 
uh, trading post, uh, sell orders and buy orders, your character must be located in a sanctuary, such as a settlement or an outpost. There is no purchase. Okay, the option is gone. Right. Thank you, gents. Thanks for confirming that. Very kind, very kind. So at the moment, if you claim your token, you cannot transfer again. So don't, <laughs> don't fuck up your transfer. So potentially, some of the people that are experienced issues experiencing issues have not followed these steps maybe um so i guess it's very important boys if you do move to follow these steps that they've got here um what comes with me when i transfer so you'll keep all your character progression <laughs> that's good and you'll keep your inventory and storage you'll keep your currency you'll keep your houses and housing decorations and you'll keep your quest progress okay good standard shit um what does not transfer your company membership needs to be terminated Active training post sell orders. Yep. Your friends list is world specific and will not transfer. That sucks. This sucks. That's that sucks. Um, where can I move my character to? Uh, any world in your region except a full world, a world in maintenance, and a world that you have an existing character in already. Okay. Standard stuff, I guess. Um, will there be opportunities to transfer again if I choose the wrong world? That's what we we're just talking about. Transferring again will require an additional token. Our team will be our team will continue monitoring world population queue times and will evaluate the need for additional wave of server transfer tokens to be given out for free. After we assure players have had plenty of time to find the right server for them, we will later make server transfer tokens available for purchase in the store. We will give notice ahead of time. Okay. Okay, so server transfer stuff's pretty awesome. You get one transfer. You got to follow these simple steps. And this is what you get to, to take with you. Okay, simple stuff. Okay, some general stuff. <laughs> uh, implemented final pieces of the server transfer framework. Great. Added improvements to the world selection UI. Great. Added clearer messaging when a player is kicked due to going. Great. Added clearer messaging when stacked discounts are present, such as territory standing and faction discounts on property taxes, such as territory standing. Implemented backend changes to help our team investigate concerns around the client performance in war. I wish they would expand on things like this. I wish they would give a bit more info on this. Adjusted to respawn time or on boat, Swain, Ambrose, and various other, various other elite enemies throughout the world. Uh, in the depths, players must now be in the arena to damage fort. Wait, what? You could be outside the arena? An error message now appears when players attempt to buy their own items in the training post. Reverted to uh, a chest loot change from update 1.0.2 that was causing too many refining reagents to roll from chests. This was, this was massive. Um, a lot of people managed to get a lot of refining agents it's so like uh kind of high-end ones that were now that were going on the market for, for pennies uh armor is now limited to one weapon mastery perk on a single item previously you could have perks for different weapons weapon mastery perks will not be removed from items that existed before the update this is quite important guys so check this out for sure check what gear you're running added general performance improvements Dies are now removed from the items upon trade with a warning message present. Uh, the time, oh, the time to declare war timer now visually pauses to make it clear when an invasion is imminent, but not yet scheduled. Territory remains in conflict state after invasions and the war can be declared. Okay, bug fixes, stuff that's pretty important. Fix the issues with the tier four and tier five Azov stuff. Now I think that since this has come out, uh, they have also uh, they have also stopped chests coming from the high level portals. Someone said, "Is that right?" Some something's changed on the big Azov portals. Any of you guys know what the deal with that is yet? So that's apparently stopped. I'll try and get the forum post to to back this up because I think the information's actually out there somewhere. Something was happening. Um, is it only on Merc? Is it only on Merc guard at top? Okay. Um, okay, so you guys are thinking the time to declare war time now officially pauses to make an invasion but not scheduled. There seemed to be a bug where the influence would just disappear, which is I think what you guys are suggesting as well. It's a bit, it's a bit 
hard to understand this. I think it can be taken in different ways. Fix the housing UI issue. The UI will now correctly show that property taxes are subject to the full price of the home um, and not impacted by the first home buyer discount. You don't get taxed on your first house discount. Fix issues with early games with early game spawning. The watchtower respawn point is replaced by the settlement after it's been discovered. Players no longer incorrectly respawn at the watchtower. Cool. Um, various localization issues. Fix an issue where not all items for town projects are consumed when completing the mission. Resolve login issues that prevented players from accessing their character. Uh, fix an issue that caused the arena keys not to drop as intended. A lot of this stuff, like probably a lot of us haven't experienced yet, but glad that they're finding issues and, and fixing them. Fix an issue that caused the runic bear armor not to be appropriately dyed during wars. Fix the pet placement issue that you guys have houses. Pets placed in otherwise empty houses now remain in the home after the player logs out instead of returning the pet to the player's inventory. Um, AP, South, uh, AP Southeast servers now display the Fix an issue that caused company invites to persist after the client accept. Ah, oh, this was one. Fix an issue that caused the Raja spawns to stack forever. One big cat at a time, please. That was funny, finding all of them together. The following issues have been fixed. Fixed an issue that caused holding and dragging around the client while in window mode to constantly re-trigger invincibility. This is good. This is good. This is very good. No more accusations of bullshit. No more shit. So this is very, very good. Fix the client issue that caused taxes not to go into the controlling company's territory. <gasps> what? That must be why we were so poor, boys. Fix an issue that caused uh, a penalty length for suspensions and bans to say over a year. Because <laughs> you imagine getting banned and it says you've been banned for over a year. <laughs> you would be so fucking annoyed. Fixed issues with companies not receiving some territory taxes. Mate, there's a lot of tax issues here. Additionally, we discovered our fix for the issue of the tiles and achievements not always updating correctly. That needs some additional work, and we've removed it from the list. We'll continue to work on a fix for this. Okay, good. This is quite funny. So on our Discord, people are laughing at this. Speculative fixes. I think this means they've tried to fix it, tried to fix it, but they're not sure if it's worked yet. So let's go and check these out. <laughs> Uh, the fixes below are tentative fixes and mitigations. Our goal is to get these changes out to see if the issues persist so we can continue to work on them and address them in the future update. So these things we need to we need to check out. Um, worked on the fix, worked to fix an issue where wars and invasions kicked off earlier than scheduled. I, I don't think we've had that issue yet. Worked to fix an issue where not all settlement stations upgrade as intended when town projects are completed. That has to be why, boys, some of our stuff's not working. <laughs> no, I don't think we've experienced these two, personally. Players should no longer become stuck when entering or exiting an instance. If a player reconnects and their character is dead, the respawn screen is open with respawn options. Players who are currently stuck need to contact customer support to have their character unstuck. Or if you're stuck, contact customer support to get unstuck. That is the update. I think there's a couple of big ones in there, which is great. Um, especially the Invun, that is probably top priority. And I'm glad that they've managed to fix that. Uh, well, they say that they fixed it, so hopefully that's done. But yeah, that is, uh, that's our update, 1.0.3, primarily around uh, server transfers. So I would definitely say hold off for a couple of days if you can before you transfer. Remember, you can use this update, uh, excuse me, you can use this transfer at any point. As far as we know, there's no time limit on the cert on, on the transfer, so you can take your time, just see what happens, just play and chill um, for now. Don't transfer yet because there have been reports of people having issues, but it could potentially be that they haven't followed steps. Um, if you guys head over to newworldfans.com, Taken has posted a full Q&A about server transfer, so just double check you do everything before you transfer. Um, but yeah, that is, that's our latest patch notes update. Whoop, whoop.